Okay, today we're going to do a 20 minute arm wrap. That means you're going to work constantly for 20 minutes. Now, if you're taking part in the CrossFit Open, uh, 21.2 comes out tomorrow, and you might want to uh, take it a wee bit easier on this than the option is there. So that's up to you. I'll let you make that decision yourself. Uh, otherwise, uh, go as heavy as you like. So you're going to do 12 of each of these movements and you're going to keep working your way through the list over and over again, as many rounds as you can within the 20 minutes. We've got overhead lunges, plank toe taps, deadlifts, floor presses, goblet squats and Russian twists. So, the overhead lunge. You can do the overhead lunge either holding uh, one weight between two hands, so it's overhead like that, or you can go, which is what I would uh, advise, is one weight uh, in one hand, okay? So stepping forward, stepping back, walking lunges, okay. whatever you want. Try and make sure that your knee goes down and contacts the floor and the rep. For the plank toe taps, you're gonna be on your elbows. Just tip this down a wee bit for you. Okay, you're gonna be on your elbows and your toes, stepping your feet out to the sides. So down on your elbows in a plank position, and it would be one, two, three and so on for the deadlifts one weight or two if you're using the kettlebell then have your feet relatively close together so maybe about shoulder width apart hip to shoulder width apart make sure your bum goes back shoulders stay set butt back behind your heels weight comes down and it's going to touch the ground just in between your toes okay so when you're doing this Bum back behind your heels, just be, bend your knees enough so that the weight touches the ground and stand back up fully uh, to complete the rep. For the floor presses, for the floor presses you're going to be down on the ground, you can either have a weight in each hand or just one hand at a time, so I'll show you just one hand at a time with a kettlebell. So lying on the floor, I'll show you on this side so you can see it. Lying on the floor, elbows are going to be out at about 45 degrees from your body, head down, all the way up until your arms fully extended. Watch that you don't also like try and push up through your shoulder. Keep your shoulder on the ground, tricep come down, touch the ground, pressing back up. If you've got a weird like mid-range weight or a weight that's too heavy for one hand, then you can press the weight using both hands. So that's for the floor presses, and then we've got the goblet squats. So holding the weight against your chest, okay, so make sure it's touching your body. Get in whatever depth of squat you can, you're aiming to get your hip crease down below your knee height, okay, and standing back up fully at the top of each rep. Then you've got your Russian twist, you're going to sit, sat on the ground, feet off the ground if you can. The weight's going to go from one side to the other and for the Russian twist it is literally going to be one, two, three and so on. If you need to rest your heels on the ground go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you're still leaning back a little to make it challenging for you. Okay, 12 reps of each. Work your way through the list, back to the start. Do it again, do it again, do it again for 20 minutes.